Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into our FAQ segment where we answer all of your burning questions about Lawn Buddy. If you wanna stay in the loop and be sure to get the latest updates, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our monthly newsletter. Now, let's get started and make your experience with Lawn Buddy even better. Today we'll be talking about how do I invite my crews and how does the crew app work? First, we're gonna start on the web version. I have the exclusive plan, so that's what we will be using today. So once you get in here, you're gonna go over here to your crew list, and then you'll see that you have your list of employees. I already have two in here. So if you wanna add a new employee, you'll click the plus button. So at the top, you'll put the employee name If you have employee IDs that you wanna keep track of, you can put that there. And then you have a couple of roles to choose from. So let's go over these roles real quick. So with the pro plan, you really only have the option of crew and admin because the crew and foreman act the same on the pro plan. With exclusive, the foreman is able to access time tracking features and clock in all the employees that are under that crew. So um, you can assign however you'd like. I'm going to click Foreman. So I already have a couple crews that I have assigned, so I'm going to do the Braves. And then you do have to put in an email. So the way that your crew members get the invite is they actually get an email um, from you requesting them to accept the invite. So I'm going to put... Um, Ellie plus crew four at lawnbuddy.com. The phone number is just for your company directory only. You can require location tracking. If you do turn this on, your um, employee will still have to allow tracking for the Lawn Buddy app in their settings. So that's a safety feature of Google and Apple. So you just need to make sure that they allow that location tracking as well. So with our exclusive plan, we also have timesheets. So you have a couple of things that you can fill out down here. Um, if you want to put them as a full-time employee and you can put in their wage, overtime wage, and things like that, that will all show up on your timesheets. So I'm gonna do $15 an hour and they get an extra 10 for any overtime per hour. So, or your over, sorry, so my overtime wage would be 25, excuse me. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna click save here. So that means I got an invitation sent. Let's go check out my email. Alrighty, so I did get this email sent to me. So test company Ellie Wallace invited you to join their team. So this is what their email is going to look like. It says you've been invited to join the company which will allow you to manage work they assigned to you. Follow the steps to complete your registration. They need to follow step one first, then step two, then step three. So step one, when they click here, is gonna take them to enter a password. And submit. And now they have select, or now they have set up their invitation. So if you go back to your Lawn Buddy account, it shows that this employee is now active because they accepted the invitation. Alrighty, so once I accept that invite as a crew member and I set my password, I log in with that same email address and that same password that I just created. So on my available jobs page, it's gonna show me all of my overdue jobs and then any jobs that I have coming up today or tomorrow. Um, and then I can pop over here to my routes to see my route for the day as well. Um, and then this is where, so at your day, when you come in for the day, they can clock in everyone who's on that crew. And then this is where they can also, if they're taking a lunch or other activity, they can add those here as well. Um, so once they get into here, they would go to their routes. They can see that Bruce Banner's first, they can click on Bruce and they can start his job. Now, they can also type you notes. So if Bruce has like overgrown bushes that the crew member wants you to reach out to them and see if they uh, want that to get 
taken care of. You'll be able to see those notes on your end as well, but that's how they can communicate with you here. Um, they can also send an on the way text as well. <clears throat> and so they can go in here and they can see, okay, they can send a text to your customer and then they can click send and then message has been sent to your customer. So they can't go in and send another one or anything like that. It just sends one message to let your customer know that they're on the way. Um, if they're done with this job, they can hit stop job and then complete job. And then that job shows up as completed. They can also check their timesheets. So let's say that they forgot to clock into that job or something like that. Um, they can, or clock out, they can report their end time. Um, if they clocked in a little bit too late, they can change their start time and it'll show you that they edited their time entry. Um, if you go into your timesheets and look at that. If you have any checklists that you want your your employees to finish or do, this is where they would do that here. So they can go in and view the list. They can make sure you lock your check, say hi to your mom. They can add photos as well. Um, and then work, they can see any available work here. Uh, if there's any upcoming, and then they can also see what they've completed. When they're done for the day, they can go back to your day and click clock out and then they're done. Thank you so much for being a part of the Lawn Buddy community and come back every Wednesday for a new FAQ video.